good morning children i think everyone is fine in good health now here yeah, we will recap of the lesson bones and muscles what i explained you what we have discussed here yeah, i'll show you the skeletal system here yeah, see this skeletal system this is a skeleton human skeletal system you are seeing human body made up of bones and muscles here you are seeing only bones isn't it bones and muscles the skeleton forms the framework and protects the internal organs gives strength to our body gives shape to our body isn't it these are the functions it pro it protects the soft internal organs of our body now here you will see what are the parts of the skeletal system here you are seeing this is what you call it skull what you call it skull here you are seeing ribs this is called a rib cage this is called a rib cage here you are seeing the arm backbone this is what you call it backbone this is a backbone what you call it backbone this is a backbone and limbs four this is called four limbs and this is called hind limbs this is called four limbs and this is called hind limbs isn't it this is what you call it hind limbs legs that is legs are called hind limbs and four limbs are our hands four limbs are our hands so these are the parts of the skeletal system now we are see we will see each part of the skeletal system you are seeing this skull how many bones are there in skull 22 bones then this here you are seeing all the joints are fixed joints are fixed so which part it protects brain it protects the delicate organ that is what you call it brain you are seeing these jaws so eyes and jaws are there in the skull so all these are the fixed joint except the lower jaw is movable upper jaw lower jaw only lower jaw is movable which is used for speaking which is used for uh, talking which is used for eating food understood and now here these these are the teeth these teeth are fixed in the jaw bone this is what you call it jaw bone understood so this is about the skeletal uh, sorry skull this is what you call it skull next part coming to ribs you are saying these are the this is a rib cage what do you call it rib cage how many bones are there in rib cage 12 pairs 12 pairs of bones are there in the rib cage how many pairs of bones are there 12 pair. pairs of bones are there here you are saying these bones are curved and it is attached with the backbone back side of the backbone understood so 10 pairs of the bones are connected to the backbone Isn't it? Ten pairs of the bones are connected to the backbone. Last pair of bones are called floating bones. These are called floating bones. Isn't it? Now here, yeah. front. You see the front part. This part is what you call it flat bone. You are seeing through which the rib bones are connected. This is what you call it sternum. It is called as a sternum. What do you call it? Sternum. It is called as a sternum. Now, here coming to which parts are protected by this rib cage? Here also you are seeing the fixed bones. Very delicate organs of our body is protected by the rib cage. That is heart and lungs. Heart and lungs are protected by the rib cage. Okay, heart and lungs are protected by rib cage. Understood? So how these bones are connected? See. these are curved and it is back connected with the backbone next coming to backbone this is what you call it backbone it is called a backbone or spine it is called a backbone or spine you are seeing a long bone you are seeing which is connected with the skull it is connected with the skull isn't it flexibility is there because of the backbone you are seeing this is all small bones are there you are seeing this is small rings of bones which makes the vertebral column 
This makes the word, this is what you call it, ver vertebral column. It makes a vertebral column. What do you call these small, small bones? It gives a flexibility to our body. We can bend our body, we can twist our body. Isn't it? Dance. Flexibility. You get the flexibility because of these small bones. These are called vertebrae. What do you call it? Vertebrae. Isn't it? How many vertebrae are there in human body? 33 vertebrae are there. Isn't it? Which organ is protected by this vertebrae? That is spinal cord is protected by the backbone. Which part is protected? Spinal cord. Now, what happens if you don't have this vertebrae? If you don't have vertebrae, what happens? You have to stand straight only. No movement will be there. We can't bend our body, isn't it? You can't do extra work. Bending will be not there for you. So this vertebrae give flexibility to our body. Understood? Next coming to, these are called limbs. Next part of the spinal cord is limbs. These are called forelimbs. The hands are, arms are called forelimbs. Arms are called forelimbs. And legs are called hind limbs. Hind limbs. Two pairs of limbs are there in human body. They are forelimbs and hind limbs. Okay. So now here you see, this is, you are seeing this part of the hand, arm. Two bones are there in the arm. Two bones are there in the arm. This end of the arm is connected with the shoulder bone. Connected with the shoulder bone. You are seeing this is what you call it. Clavicle. It is called a clavicle. Upper part of the bone, upper part of the arm is called humerus. What do you call it? Humerus. It is called humerus. Lower part is called a radius ulna. Two bones are there. Radius ulna. Two bones are there. You are seeing two bones. Radius and ulna. This is called radius and ulna. Understood? Next coming to hind limbs. Hind limbs are connected with the hip bone. Is it? This is the first part. This is also made of two bones. Two bones. This is called femur. Thigh bone. It is called a thigh bone or femur, which is the longest bone in our body. Strongest bone in our body. The weight of the body is bears by these bones only. Two bones, thigh bones, isn't it? Our body weight bears by this bone only, that is femur. So, this is what you call it, femur. Another bone is there, another part of the leg is, that is hind limb, tibia fibula. Tibia fibula, two bones you are seeing? Tibia fibula, this is what you call it, tibia fibula. Understood? Here, so this is connected with the knees. Knee joint. Here you are seeing this is knee joint. So which helps in bending. Movement. You find the movement in our body in the joints. Okay. So this is about the skeletal system. This is about the skeletal system. Now joints. Coming to joints. See wherever the two bones meet. It is called a joint. Wherever you see the two bones. It is called a joint. See movement. You are seeing the movement. Here. In the knee also you are seeing the movement. These are called joints. These are called, here yeah, you are seeing, see here, yeah, you see this, full it is moving. This is a ball and socket joint. Ball and socket joint. It is called a ball and socket joint which you find in the shoulder region. Shoulder and hip bones. Here, yeah. you will see full movement, you will see. Hip bone and shoulder, you will so, see the ball and socket joint. This is a neck bone. Where you find the movement sideways, up and down. Movement. That is a pivotal joint. What do you call it? Pivot joint. What do you call it? Pivotal joint. It is called a pivotal joint. Neck joint is called a pivotal joint. And this is what do you call it? Ball and socket joint. It shows movement in all the direction. All the direction you will see the movement. Understood? It is called a, what do you call it? Ball and socket joint. Now, arms. You find the movement in one direction only, like a hinges of door. It 
it is what you call it hinge joint you are seeing movement in only one direction it is called a what do you call it hinge joint here even in the fingers also you will find it in one direction only movement it is called a what do you call it hinge joint when you find only the movement in one direction only so it is called a hinge joint understood you find the hinge joint hinge joint in elbow you find in knees you find in fingers you find in toes also understood children so this is about the skeletal system what i explained you so muscles hold bones together and makes movement in our body there are three types of muscles what i explained you voluntary involuntary and cardiac muscles voluntary muscles which works on their own arms legs you find the voluntary muscles whenever you are willing you will do the work isn't it whenever you want to go outside that is your wish understood involuntary muscles which work on their own when we are sleeping also our body organs function our body systems will function continuously these are called involuntary muscles Card, uh, that is breathing when we are sleeping also our breathing process takes place isn't it digestion takes place in our body so these uh, processes takes place in our body when we are sleeping also cardiac muscles heart muscles are called cardiac muscles isn't it heart is a pumping organ which pumps blood to all the parts of the body so uh, this is about the skeletal system i showed you thank you have a nice day.